July in 30 minutes with Players Cup 3 with Stone Jenner. Now, Wolf, you might be asking yourself, how did this, how did it come to this? Anyway, yeah, so I have 30 minute delay on, which means that this is not an interactive stream at all. I don't even, I'm basically, this is just a YouTube video for me, basically. But you all get to watch it live, and it probably won't make it onto YouTube unless something crazy happens. Um, I also, this is very much a don't try this at home, kids, you know? Uh, do not, do not look at what I do here and think to yourself, I want to do that. I strongly recommend against it. You're not, this is, we're not playing good Pokemon today. We're playing uh, a little bit off the rocker Pokemon today, but yeah. Help. Stony J, I think it's up to you, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's go Stony J, or get the flinch. Come on, Stony J, come on, Stony J, give me a big Twiki over here. Oh no, it's so doomed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, uh, <laughs> Quake my Torkoal, that'd be kind of bad, right? Does Torkoal die to that? Probably not, right? Oh, it's Umbra and Comfe. Okay, so their goal is to yawn me, I guess? Wait, what do they want? Can I just sleep part of the Umbra and body press the Umbra? Because that's the more that's the most threatening one here. The Comfe doesn't do anything, right? It just taunts me. It doesn't even have protect. We shouldn't do that. If they ally switch is still fine, right? Oh right, safety goggles. Ah oh, right. Oh yeah, not my best idea, was it? Was that my best idea? Wow wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had the item, I didn't even look. <laughs> well, I don't want to take a nap, so I should probably switch, right? It doesn't have recovery. Oh, it does have recovery. Oh, yeah. Okay, I definitely have to deal with that comfy, right? All right, change of plans, chat. Uh, it's They yawn my Wenyasaur, right? Um, so I guess there's Wenyasaur out. They're probably floral healing and yawning again, right? Let's go Torkoal into Zacian. And let's just get Stony J in right now. I think it's time. Is it the Yawn Stone Journal? Let's go back in. Why did I not sludge on there? What am I doing? Because it's, it's almost certainly floral healing. All right, Stony J, nice job. Okay, they stayed in. That's good. They have no offensive pressure. So even though I'm not like doing anything, they're also like not doing anything. I guess they can Babby Dollize me this turn, but they don't really do anything if they do that. Floral healing, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. The question is, what's this Umbreon doing? Is it snarling me? It could Moonblast. It's probably yawning again though. And then I can just oh the Umbreon's oh the Umbreon's male. That's good. I can attract it. Yawn again into my yeah. Okay, that's nice. Wow. Wow. All right, I guess sub here, right, and switch to Wenyu, because I'm not near any danger. I could actually take the kill if I wanted, but I just sub and switch to Wenyusaur. But Yawn doesn't do sound moves, so it doesn't go through sub, which is stupid in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Switch it out. Who's switching in here? Oh, Lugia. But I can sleep out of that. <laughs> Unless they want to, I guess they can attack the partner slot. Babby Doll Eyes, okay, I'm getting me down to plus one now. Uh, does Zacian still KO at plus one? Is this Umbreon? Zacian, sub, okay, cool, and I get to sleep powder. Um, is the Umbra, the Umbra's not threatening anymore, right? Although it is just yawning the other slot. I actually think I want to just double down this Lugia. Oh, bye-bye. Comfe? Oh, Ferrothorn. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Okay, it's AV Ferrothorn. I can one-shot that if I want, but I get yawned this turn, right? Okay, I have to kill the Umbra, and I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta slow down. Because I'm just clicking so many bad buttons. So I get, I get Iron Mark from that, right? Yeah, of course it's a contact move. All right, it's fine though. We know all four of their mons. This is Yawn. Wah, wah. I, I don't know why I haven't... Oh yeah, I didn't slip the Umbra because it's safety goggles. It's fine. This is fine. I'm comfortable with this kind of gameplay. I protect because they're going to attack into the slot. And I can switch... I have a super safe switch to Torkoal. Although this slot just keeps getting yawned until Zacian does something, right? Oh wait, where am I going? Uh, I want to... Oops, I'm going to run out of time. Sacred Sword and switch to Stony J. This probably kills... Because of the boost, it's a pretty good chance to... Yeah, Behemoth is supposed to do 30% min. Although, I guess it depends on if they have bulk EVs or not. Oh, they switched Umbreon out, actually. That's interesting. Lugia again. Okay, yeah, they got me... That's really good positioning, actually, because now they've put me in an awkward spot. They've actually done a really good job of positioning, unfortunately for me. Right? Oh, they want to get Steel Spike boost on the... Um... Yeah, it's looks like I did about 30%. They want to get Steel Spike boost on the Lugia, I guess. But, like, Lugia doesn't ever damage Zacian. I can just see on it, right? Yeah, I'm playing super bad. Okay, let's see this two shots. That's a clean two shot. Thank you, Ferrothorn. This is a, or thank you, Zacian. Um, unfortunately, the Iron Barb is starting to actually add up. Steel Spike into who, though? Oh, they actually hit Stone Drinner, unexpectedly. Um, okay, do I need Stone Drinner after this, or do I rather sack? I might lose to this Lugia. I don't think I've positioned properly. I've been playing super bad. Because after a Calm Mind, it's actually kind of scary. And I don't want to Sun Up either. I don't want to sack Torkoal right now, though, unfortunately. Okay, I just take Ferrothorn, it's fine. 
Bye bye. Not bad. Okay, it's good to know. Physic uh, neutral behemoth blade into two boosted sacred swords is kill. I only have one HP for one more sub after this too. All right. Uh, I don't know how I win this because this Lugia is gonna get like actually problematic pretty fast. Oh, I'm faster. Wait, it's zero speed Lugia. <laughs> okay, let's go Stone Turner. Get the flinch. Go Stone Turner, flinch it. <laughs> How much I do this, Lugia? Comfy comes in, okay. It's probably just gonna, like, ally switch or something. It's actually probably gonna draining kiss and kill me, right? I'm gonna with blading into Lugia to get some damage down, and I'm switching to Torkoal, I think. Oh god, this is actually zero damage. I don't have a way through this. And then, wait, I do- a, Oh wait, that's multi-scale. Without multi-scale and no life orb either, let's see. I better kill the other Pokemon. I better treat Lugia as all my friends are dead. Dead did. Because if I attack the Lugia, it's just gonna- it's just gonna floral healing up, so I may as well go after the Comfe. Although it's probably just gonna ally switch, but that's fine too. This comp is annoying. Yeah, I don't know if I have the offense to get through Lugia anymore. I probably should have brought Thunderous. Because <laughs> I don't have a good max target either. I can't max Stony J. Draining Kiss comes out into my Stonger, into my Torkoal. Uh, I don't kill the comp anymore though, which is kind of stupid. So maybe that's my bad. But I, I don't think I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to, I think I have to get rid of comp eventually. And I need to get Sun up as well, so this is okay, I think. The issue is now I have to deal with Ally Switch. Uh, this doesn't kill because of the Intimidate. If, without Intimidate, it probably kills though. Oh, it actually survives. Alright, that's good to know. I need Stone Journal and Attack Boost to kill Comfey. That's what they go for here. Yeah, it's setting set up on me, which is bad. But it probably doesn't have too much special attack. Does Earth Power even KO Torkoal at this range? Probably not, right? No, it doesn't even kill Torkoal with Earth Power. Oh, it's with Light Screen up. Uh, without Light Screen, if it's, mo if it's modest max special attack, it might KO me. Which would still be okay, right? Do I protect? I think I should protect. Because I can always sub, sub you on next turn. I think they ally switch. I think it's allies with Earth Power this turn. And if not, I at least keep Lugia out of uh, multi skill range. Okay, there we go. Alright, now it's just Umbreon and Lugia uh, left. Bye bye. Yeah, this Lugia is actually a problem. I might want to think about timer, but I don't think it's been 20 minutes of that yet, so I don't think I can do anything there. I can't believe I sleep better than Umbreon turn. If I, I should have just sludge up the Kumfei. That was the bad part. Because I don't think they want to get Yawn, just the thing. And if they call mine again, then they're definitely, they're definitely very brave, to say the least. Um. Earth power into my- oh, okay, that was my bad. I just super safe going there. Um, okay, this is actually a problem now, right? I think I switched Stone Journer in, because I need to- I, the, the end game is Venusaur here, right? That's the- that's the goal. I don't have no idea of knowing- I have no way of knowing how strong it is. I just yawn Lugia. I, I, yeah, getting a yawn there would be really good. I think they just babby in Earth power, but I don't have another play. So I have to bring Stony J in, unfortunately. Oh, interesting. That's really- wait, does I'm bring up Taunt? I didn't even check. It has yawn, right? That's what it wants to do this turn? Snarl. Oh, okay. I guess they didn't check my set. All right, cool. That's quite good for me. If I get KO'd here, is that good for me or bad for me? I think it's good for me, right? How much turns of Snarl left? I think I actually want to get KO'd here, so I'm gonna go protect this body press. Stick up the unknown anyway. They probably just calm mines, right? Aero boss. Oh, they predicted Venus switching in. I actually may die to that. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, I wanted to get KO'd. That's actually kind of bad, isn't it? And I could have burned Jealousy as well for the burn. Oh, actually, no, I couldn't have because they might have done something else. Uh, and after the sun ends, which is pretty bad, right? Okay, I get thirty percent or forty-five percent here. Does it go down to do it? Does it go down to um, Sacred Sword now? I think I just Behemoth Blade into Lugia and switch to Venusaur. Because I'm not that worried about- they're probably gonna babby dollize me this turn, right? To try and survive with Umbreon. Yep, good call by me. This gives me free Venus switch. Uh, but I'm playing with sleep turns, which is concerning. But I shouldn't die to plus one arrow blast. And they don't have a speed boost anyway, so I'm trying to win- what, I'm trying to win with Vine Lash damage, right? That's the play. Great, broke the multi-scale. It is leftovers though. So maybe that wasn't my best idea. I could have just gone for damage on Umbreon. That was probably better. Yeah, I don't know if I can break through this with Lugia. It's already, because now it can wake up already, right? We saw that the Behemoth Blade should do like 40%, so that's what I need to get them into, right? Um, I don't think this KOs. But I'll go for it anyway. If they wake up and they and they survive Vine Lash, it's pretty bad for me, I think. If they wake up and they attack into Zacian and they survive Vine Lash, I think it's really bad. Because I didn't, that's the issue with my team is that I never maxed for any value. Yeah, Earth Power plus Yawn is probably game over for me. Or wait, wake up Earth Power plus Yawn. Okay, they don't go- that's bad. They didn't go for the Babydoll- Babydoll eyes. Two skill? Oh, that's real bad. This is about to get real bad really fast. Don't wake up, don't wake up. <laughs> don't wake up. 
<laughs> it's the worst case scenario. That's uh, fine, as long as I survive. Alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Snarl, oh, that's also fine. Please faint? Nah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, the crit Venu, that's fine though, right? This is actually, I think, pretty close to being really good for me. Because now I get to go for... Wait, dude, let's look at his last move. Is it recover? Uh-oh! Didn't see that it was recover. Okay, that's real bad. Uh, I forgot that it could just heal. Okay, now I get to go for Yawn plus Max Ooze. I think I might have messed this up. Unless, is timer anytime soon? I thought the timer would have had to kick in already if I was going to win on timer. There's no, this is taking 20 minutes yet. What do they do here is the question. Do they go for the... Yeah, I should have I realized I wasn't going to kill him. Just doubled into Lugia. Although I couldn't really risk going down there with Zacian because then I would definitely lose. They recover. Okay, that's fine. They're trying to stall me out. That's okay. Wow. Wow. Hmm, I don't know if I can do anything about this. It's nap time now. I just need Behemoth Blade plus Sludge Bomb plus Sludge Bomb to kill. I, I could have gone for Max Ooze this turn, but it's actually better. Like, this is a good play because I need to be smacking it with Venusaur and Zacian at the same time. They go for recover again. Okay, it was a bad. Uh, it was a bad play, but it's fine, right? They're, they're trying to win on this. All right, should I, should I start stalling? How much do I have left? Because I have Pokemon advantage. All my friends are dead syndrome. I definitely did not respect that. I didn't even look at the Lugia's moves. That was my bad. I got one more turn of Vine Lash. So yeah, this next these next few turns are kind of impactful. Um, I just need to come on. Where's the timer? It should be soon, right? I just need to not one turn sleep and I win, right? Um, their tier time is higher than mine, so I shouldn't really be stalling here, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna go on the offensive. Because I might need time. Like, even if timer- if timer comes now, I need, a, I need like, a 2 minutes 25, so I may as well quick, quick my moves. Extra animations. I'm now plus one Zacian, so that means I'm actually a fair bit stronger than I've been when I've been attacking this Lugia. I think? Just give me the crit. Not- that is not bad damage at all. We have- this is the last turn of Vine Lash as well, in the first turn of Guaranteed Sleep. Uh, I guess they need- okay, it depends on if they get a one turn sleep or not, I think. They're at 60%. Oh, okay, here we go, chat! <laughs> here we go, Wolf Click- Ah, oh, feels good to be back, baby! This is my last Behemoth Blade. Good thing I have the timer, or else this could end very differently. Um, so I may as well use the full time, right? Because I'm out of Behemoth Blades, which is real bad. Like, really, really, really bad. Thank you, timer mechanic. Uh, I probably won. Although, Behemoth Blade is better, I made a mistake. Two minutes left, okay. Okay, I would have I just won by attacking as well. Okay, so I don't want on timer, Sag. Uh, I have enough time, so I just Behemoth Blade Sludge Bomb, right? Uh, I can put 30 seconds here. I mean, I could have. Okay, GG. <laughs> Yeah. So winning on timer, like, does two things. Number one, you get the win, but number two, it also tilts your opponent. So I like to go for it when I can, <laughs> if I feel like tilting my opponent. Umbreon Lugia. All right, that's fine, right? I can probably just double the Umbreon for the one shot, right? With Max Knuckle and Sacred Sword. Yeah, I'll just Max Knuckle, Sacred Sword. I might run into Steam versus this Lugia, but I think it's okay. Oh, no Babby Doll Eyes. It's probably, uh... Oh, bye-bye. Bye bye, plus two Zacian for the rest of the game. Hello. Hello, plus two Zacian. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> My name Wolf. That's permanent attack boost. They have no more ways of removing those, so we're in pretty good shape here. It's probably Calm Mind, but I don't know if it's. It's actually just raw earth power. Uh, they expected sub. Do I, I don't die. Oh, yeah, Lugi is really bad. I forgot about that. If I was sweaty, I would just count and see if that see what that tells me about the spread, but I'm, I'm not feeling super Bruh. spread a bit sweaty today. Fairthorn comes in. Um. All right, let's see here. I think I just Lightning and Protect, I'm pretty sure. What are Ferrothorn's moves? It's just Salt Vest, so it's actually not that threatening. Ferrothorn's moves are, it doesn't have anything for, it doesn't have anything for Thunderous, so I can just Lightning here, because I'm plus one. They're probably gonna max, if I had to guess. They actually switched, they were baiting fighting moves into Comfey, I guess. Yeah, okay. Now, I've already predicted their ally switch once, so they're less likely to go for it now. Oh, they're just gonna, they're, oh, okay. All right, they're loot maxing Louis. Yeah, they wanted to go for the Earth Power Kill, I guess. Just get the protect. Um, these attack moves are permanent, but how valuable are these? Actually, wait. Behemoth Blade into Lightning probably kills, right? Yeah, Behemoth Blade into Lightning should definitely kill, because Behemoth Blade is plus two now. And this is plus zero, Lugia. Yeah, as you can see, plus one Lightning is already doing a chunk. I don't think they have counterplay to that, so I'll go for that. Because that way, even if they ally switch, they just wouldn't get their health back, and I would kill the Comfey. Quake comes out, yeah, as expected. We just didn't want them to... Actually, they're super slow, Lugia, so speed just doesn't even matter. 
Not much damage there. Special defense boost doesn't matter. I can double the Lugia, right? What are they, what's the worst thing that happens? I can't get taunted. I can't get really anything, right? In the worst case, they floral healing, and then I probably get the kill. And, uh, if it does double that, yeah. Behemoth Blade into Max Lightning is probably a KO. And they still didn't, they didn't bring an answer for Thunderous, so... Even if they do floral healing here and survive, it's not that big a deal, I think. Yeah, it's floral healing, that's fine. We could have KO'd the Comfort here, but I thought the plus two Behemoth Blade plus, plus one Max Lightning would probably be enough. Because this is going to do probably, like, this could do up to 40%, I think. If I was really sweating, I would, I would count it for sure, though. That's why I don't try this at home. Just do 40. Uh, it's like 35. Thunny did about that. Yeah, I think that's a kill. It might, it might survive. I don't know for sure. I just barely survived. Okay, that's actually a problem now, isn't it? All right, oh, the air stream. Okay, I made a mistake. All right, now it's game over. Because I lived that. They expected a switch, but I was content just to do it for damage. All right, not bad. They're forced to make a defensive play on Lugia this turn. I mean, even if Zaishin goes down there, it's fine, right? Because Instinct, or er, who comes in then? Because then I have to play Allies switch minigame, right? It's probably Stone Journey, and I just Rock Slide plus Wild Charge, right, to get the kill. Uh, in this case, I Wild Charge into... If I Wild Charge Lugia and Behemoth Blade Comfey, is there any counterplay to that? I don't think so. Oh, they went for Floral Healing again. Okay, that's my bad. But I think they're, they're still dead to uh, Wild Charge, probably. Probably, because Floral Healing was only... Yeah, they're definitely dead to Wild Charge now. I, I think it's good to get, take out the Comfey to get this damage to stick. And Lugia, because it's Dynamax, can only KO 1-1. But yeah, it's guaranteed to be faster than my Thundy. I kind of forgot about that. It's just zero speed Lugia, which means it's 130 stats. So I can kill the Uh It can kill my Zacian. It can't kill my Thunderous. So I guess Zacian goes down here, which is still fine, right? Because my last one is instant, and that seals the game. But this is a round one win. Bye-bye. 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 Alright, that's the game. GG. Crit didn't matter. <laughs> At all. <laughs> I could go instant to steal the game, but it's funnier to go Stone Journer. Alright, Stone Journer. 100% success rate so far. This is plus one, plus power spot. Yeah, I would have survived with that power spot. Power spot's too strong. GG. GG, GG. Alright, we won. Good games. We got kind of lucky. That Louie was kind of hard. GG's. You too. He said GG as well. Poor score. Position Depolt. Okay, that's actually fine, right? It doesn't have Alice Switch or anything, so I probably just have a clean KO into the Dragapult and an Airstream into Zacian. In the worst case scenario, they're really bulky Dragapult, but they're... I mean, they're Goggles. Do I think they survive a hit? Okay, they're max speed. Okay, that's really interesting. That's really, really interesting. Um, okay, I know they're spread now, so I just airstream into Zacian, and I Behemoth Blade into the Dragapult, right? And what's the worst thing that happens? They switch instant, I get an attack boost? I don't think I need to overthink this one. If I win this game, I can probably win game two, because they're not going to leave Dragapult game. They're probably not even going to bring Dragapult game two. But uh, yeah, we're, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. Also, this could be super physically bulky Dragapult. Protect Zacian, that's quite good. That's quite, quite good. Uh, let's see if we get the kill here. I mean, this thing looks like it's an offensive Dragapult to me. I can't imagine it has... You need, like, to invest almost 252 EVs, I think. Or, like, maybe not that much, but you need to invest a lot in bulk to survive this attack. Bye-bye. That was a good turn one. I got the speed advantage. I did some damage to Dragapult. Or, I got the, I got speed advantage and I got a KO. Although, I did have to use the turn of Dynamax to do it. Okay, it does very little damage. Uh, four times that... Mm, probably break sub. I think it's best just to lightning here. What are the other mons? It could be Rillaboom. Rillaboom would die, right? Probably does switch in. Rillaboom would definitely die to the combination. I think I go for lightning here. I could also hard read the, the switch. Okay, they just stay in. I deal with this kills, but their Zacian goes down one way or another. Oh, they actually don't max. What are they doing? Thundering me? Are they full switching? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I got the kill though. Um, yeah, they're stalling their Dynamax, I guess, but it doesn't help too much, I think. We get rid of two of their mods in two turns. I could still lose this, because uh, my offense is very frail, right? Like, it's a very fragile offense. Hurricane. They're trying to go for Hurricane. Hurricane out of rain. Confusions. Did they get it? No confusion. Okay, that, that wasn't really a well-used turn, in my opinion. This sweet gun is Tailwind, Snarl, Scald, Ring Dance. So I'm tempted just to go for... Let's see. I can also double the Zapdos here. Doesn't it? it's just, oh, it's AV Zapdos. Oh, Zapdos can't even protect. Okay, I don't know their Dynamax in this game, but it probably has to be Zapdos. Um, it's Wikiberry. I mean, it probably... Based on what I have in the back, I want damage and speaking, right? 
So I think I just double this weekend just to cover the Dynamax. Oh, this thing probably is... Oh, oh thankfully it's not pressure, because that way I get more Behemoth Blades off. Oh, they could max guard, I guess. Oh, they actually max guard. That was actually really smart. I'm not going to lie to you. What are they doing, though? Because that makes one of their turns of max. I guess they're trying to chip down my... Trying to chip down my Thundee. Okay, that makes sense. Hold switch into Thundee. Alright, uh, Thundee's getting kind of low, to be honest. I think I can just KO with Wild Charge plus Behemoth Blade, but then do I lose... I probably don't lose Sweeping because I bought the Mons, right? Wild Charge Behemoth Blade here. Trying to take out Zapdos. Because I wasn't sure who was going to max, so I went after the one that's more threatening, but... Yeah. Maybe play. This should do 50%, 52%, and Wild Church should do 48%. Crit here would be nice, but we don't need it, for sure. We really just want to dodge the Static Para. Alright, it's definitely a range of Wild Charge. We just hope not to get static here. Unfortunate. Alright, I guess I could lose this now. Because I maybe made a mistake. Wait, is Suicune genderless? Alright, kill that. Do I even die to Max Geyser here? This is support Suicune, right? Can't take out the speaking because it's in your focus. I don't know. Oh, it's darkness actually. Wait, what? Into, into thunderous. <laughs> Y'all ever heard of defiant? <laughs> All right, let's see some damage. Thunderous versus a plus two versus Suicune. With wild charge, at plus two, they're Dynamax. They have no Wackenberry and they're calm. Okay, with life orb. How much are we doing? You all want to see some damage? I know. I, oh, we don't even kill. Hmm. Uh, I think I want to fly. Into the Suicune and then switch to Stone. I can't flinch them though. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna Behemoth Blade once for some good damage. I'm almost at Behemoth Blades. This is actually a mistake though. I could I could lose by making this play. I was actually super dumb. I don't know what I'm thinking. That was super 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 stupid. I need to switch station out there. Bye bye. Oh, I'm faster even paralyzed. This weekend zero speed. That also means Suicune doesn't have speed being Talon by the way. Oh no, I have a speed boost. That's why I forgot. I've never mind. Never mind. Actually, no, it's fine. Yeah, because I dodged the geyser, and then I get the kill with fly now, as long as I hit. Because plus two fly with life orb kills from here, thanks to Stone Drinner. I can just switch into Stone Drinner and get the kill. This also shows them that I didn't have Torkoal Venusaur in the back. I hope they don't forfeit. If they don't forfeit, I confirm. I don't confirm. I confirm that my back mods were not Torkoal Venusaur. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so they should. They know now that my last mods were not Torkoal Venusaur, which is very valuable, because now I'm more likely to go... Now if I bring Torkoal Venusaur in the next game, it's more likely to be prepared. Alright, Fly versus one of the most bulky Pokemon of all time. Bop. Thank you, Stone Drainer. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I could yawn here and then max Flare into the Zacian. Because that way I would survive. Actually, that's not so bad. That actually makes it... That makes it, That's a lot safer, right? Because they're most likely going to max Zapdos here. I actually kind of like that. I'm going to yawn Max Flare. Because they're expecting Sleep Pattern to Zapdos, right? And I really want to make sure I actually get to use Dynamax. Like, get to play with Dynamax this game. Because if, if they protect here and they get Sleep Powdered, then they just lose. So they're going to cover for Sleep Powder and by attacking with both, most likely, is my guess. I think this killed. I'm actually not even sure. I'm Life Orb should, should kill. Yep. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Restricted Pokemon. Please die. Please die. Please die. All right. Very nice. That's a very good turn one for us. We one shot Zacian. We're should still be we're still faster than Zapdos, and then we get the on off on. We should get the on off. I guess if we get crit, it's possible to lose. But there should be airstreaming here into Wenusaur. Don't die. Let's go Wenusaur. Who needs Koba Berry? Not you. Am I right, ladies? All right, because Zapdos is the most threatening one, so getting a yawn on it is very valuable. Wah wah. Because now it's basically done with Dynamax. It gets one attack off. So what do I need to do to win this game? Is the question. I think I just max guard this turn and then stall another turn of their max. Yeah, I've got really no reason to attack here, right? I can max guard and then switch to Stone Drinner. Actually, I don't know. I can just protect, protect here. Protect the max guard to get the sleep off. And then I want to get Vine Lashes most of my damage this game. Yeah, this is why, like, Torkoal Venusaur is super stupid. Because, like, I conditioned my opponent by not bringing it game one. And then they were super weak to it game two. And then, like, I knew that they weren't going to be prepared. So they, like, didn't have time to fully think through the repercussions of, like, what would happen if I just maxed. Because they tunnel visioned on the sleep powder. So, therefore, like, I planned this, like, by not bringing Torkoal Venusaur game one, I... Like, I knew that if I won game one, I would have a very good shot of catching them off guard game two. Anyway, double protect this game was Zapdos, meaning Zapdos is nap time. This is Zapdos' last attack. That was the right move. They attack into Torkoal, uh, but they're not Iron Ball, so they still take a nap. There's a ton of damage to protect. That might be a crit. Actually, no, Torkoal's really frail. Okay. I can't sleep anymore because of Electric Train. I need to make sure I don't actually mess that up. Go for Lariat into my Winyasaur. Makes sense, yeah. Carver's for switches, I guess. Uh, but now it's nap time for Zapdos. And what's more important is that Dynamax is almost over for. Well, I mean, it's also for both of us, but it's a bigger deal for them than it is for me. Um, wait, what do I want? The position I want is... I want to get... Sorry, Lush. Into Um, I want to get Zacian Stone Drinner on, on the field next turn. 
I can't attract anything. Oh man, this sucks. Like I want to set up for substitute plus rock slide basically. That's really good for me if I can give it off. And thanks to power spot, I actually think I put them in a range of rock slide. It's gonna depend on the move this turn. First turn to sleep on that. Alright, Zapdos is now able to wake up, which is concerning. Oh wait, Zapdos has a speed boost, right? I did not account for that in my planning. Oh, I forgot that Zapdos has a speed boost and it has Weather Ball too. Do I die? Does Zation die to Sun Boost and Weather Ball? Uh, I'm dead to Weather Ball, right? How many turns of Sun are left? Two turns of Sun and one turn of Electric Train. Right, I just Rock Slide here and Protect, I think. Because they're probably Flare Blitz Weather Balling, right? Or they're switching into now. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Alright, that's my bad again. I made two bad moves in a row. Suicune. Yeah, we knew Suicune was the last one. Um, they're probably gonna go for Tailwind. I can still win this, it's just gonna be a little bit difficult, I think. I'm relying a lot on the Vine Lash damage, but I think I might- ugh, I could've just subbed. I was too- I, I played too safe. That's my bad. I missed! Not the Zapdos. Oh no. Alright, this has gone very badly, very quickly. Hmm. The odds are getting worse and worse for me every turn. I can't even flinch the Suicune. I have to Rock Slide again for sure, because it, it is Speed Booster, right? I'm not crazy. It is Speed Booster, I'm not crazy. Okay, I Rock Slide and go into Torkoal here, trying to sack it off. And it's Incineroar's now in body press range. Like, there's still some stuff going for us, but it's definitely risky. Ah, uh, missing that rock slide was kind of bad. Oh man. Uh, I should just play like should just play like a Torkoal Venusaur player. Hit. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, it's so doomed. Oh god, that's really bad. And my Stone Turner. Okay, it's Tailwind. That's not like, bad actually. It doesn't actually matter except that the Zapdos is a problem. I'm out of Sun. Do is my Torkoal? Okay, I think I lost by being too safe. Yeah, I should not have been safe here. Um, I think it's actually okay to, to protect you on here. I think it's a bad play. I should Calc if Skull kills. Skull probably kills. I don't have time to change moves. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Okay, um, my bad. Okay. Oh, it is Volt Switch. Yeah, that's super my bad. Rain Dance. Uh oh. Well, I could have just rock slide and I won this game. Um, okay, that's not good. Ah, that was super bad across the board. I forgot about Rain Dance. Alright, I need to bring Torkoal in safely here. Or I need, I need to switch for sure. Um, the issue is they're Volt switching this turn, right? And that was the last turn of Fine Lash, correct? Uh, I played this really badly. I shouldn't have missed both Rock Slides. That was, that was stupid of me. Electricity is now gone, though. What are they likely to do here? And do I have any safe moves? Like, if they Scald me and I Rock Slide, how bad is that? Actually, if they Scald me and I Rock Slide, it's fine, right? Because they're guaranteed Volt switching. So I just do this and try and get a kill. Like, one of my moms is dead, but not both. <laughs> Let's go, Stony J. Because Rain isn't that big a deal. I just need to make sure that Zation gets in without an Intimidate drop. And Rain is up, like, also means that Zapdos isn't that more that much more threatening. Like, yeah, I I'm counting on Body Press to kill. I'm pretty sure it does. A max defense. And Rock Slide isn't, like, good, but it also means that I get more damage on the Sweet Goon, which is nice. This is Scald into Whomst. Into Stone Drinner. Alright, that's really good. If as long as Body Press kills, I think we still win this. Because it's their last turn of Tailwind, and uh, Zapdos can't protect itself. And we already know that- Please kill, please kill, please kill. Not bad, let's go Torkoal, not bad! This is why we use this kind of Torkoal, and not stupid Eruption Torkoal. It's the last turn of Tailwind number one, and I get the attack boost, which is more important. And the Zapdos gave up a speed boost by switching, which is why Yawn was good. And it's in guaranteed Behemoth Blade range, I think? Let's see. Minimum damage is... 53%, so it's guaranteed in Behemoth Blade range. Um, I protect with both, just followed their last turn of Tailwind, I counted correctly, not bad. They have no way of getting speed control this turn, so I can protect with both. Thunder, yep. And then Scald and a Torkoal, presumably. Um, can I, is it possible for me to lose this? Pro uh, it'd be difficult, right? Because I get the- actually, if I get Scald- uh, a Parrot here, right? Then that makes it a little bit hard. Um, is it be it's better to Yawn, right? Because Body Press into Body Press. Yeah, it just being with Blade Yawn. I'm faster, because Tailwind's over, I kill the Zapdos. Let's see if I get Parrot. I don't even know if Parrot- Parrot's probably- I prefer probably Burn to Para, right? Kill Zapdos, thank you. That's all Vine Lash damage, by the way. I didn't hit that thing with a single attack, right? Yeah, there's Static. Okay, that's fine. 100% effect, effect rate. I guess the bad- it's bad here in the case that they Scald Torkoal? Yeah, they didn't, though. Alright, uh, Crit doesn't kill me. Oh, I'm super, 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 super safe. Okay. I'm now to the Crit, though, right? But I don't even need to protect. Like, do I even need to risk paralysis here? I don't, right? Because if they scald, if they scald my Torkoal, then that's fine. Because if they scald Torkoal, then they would never. They would need like three consecutive paras, probably. 
Scald again into my Torkoal. That was a good move. Bye, Torkoal. You did a good job, though. You were great this match. I just need Zacian to not get full paired. Right, a couple times. Okay, Sacred Sword comes out. It's nap time. This might even just kill. Yeah, I needed... Sorry, I basically just needed... Um, out of, like, four turns... Wait, here, that's one. Here's two. Like, I'm not to Scald crit, so I just needed, like, two out of three instead of one out of four, which is, like, odds are better for me, right? It's one turn. Yeah, I just need one more non-para in the next two turns. Okay, this one. I, or I need one more non-para before they wake up. And then, because Scald and Scald probably kills me at this point. So if they get the one turn sleep and the and the para again, they win, probably. No, okay, they didn't get it. But if I para again, it's the same situation. Okay, bye-bye. GG. <sighs> Alright, that was kind of good. I feel like that was pretty good. GG's. I wonder if this is Brady. Nah, Deepul to Moongus, Zacian, and Sin. Or Lucky in the back. Yeah, Deepul to Moongus. Okay, cool. Um, what do they want to do here is the question. I assume Airstream plus Behemoth play kills. I'm not positive about that. I mean, what is Dragapult doing? Because I'm, I'm maintaining the speed advantage if I do this. Because they can't really max Dragapult because Thundee's just so well into max Dragapult. I think the worst case scenario is they protect Amoongus. It's just very risky for them because... I mean, it's not that risky. It's pretty obvious. But if they get it wrong, then they would probably lose the game. Is it protect? Oh, okay. No protect. Uh, it's Regenerator, so I'm not that worried about it. That was a good play, actually. That that was actually a good play because they get either Dragon Dance off or they... Oh, almost killed. Wow, that's super strong. Oh, Phantom Force. Interesting. Um, that's not bad for me, though, right? I have Incident in the back, and I get a speed boost off of this. And who do they go into now? Zacian? Yeah, I don't know what they expected there, but uh, it's a good turn one for me. Bye-bye. Not Kingler, not Kingler, not Kingler. Although if it's Kingler, it's still fine, right? I would just lose. If it's Kingler, I'm just forfeiting right now. I don't think I can be Kingler. But no, it's, it's Zacian is one of the Pokemon in the back, right? So the question is, who's the other one? Who do they even go into here? It's gotta be, is it a, it's not a Leki. Zacian, okay. Um, I mean, I'm plus one speed and they can't max this turn, right? So they're probably protecting. Um, I'm not that worried about the, th about the Dragapult. It's almost certainly a protect, but that's not a big deal for me, right? I think I just Knuckle and Behemoth Blade to get the attack boost. Unless they want to switch, which is unlikely, I think. There's a protect, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't have anything better to do, though, was the thing. Yeah, I, like, I could have subbed, I guess, but it just was so risky and for no real reward, right? Now, it's not much damage, but it gets Thunderous up to plus one, which is good. We also don't know who they're targeting with this next attack. It's probably... I, I thought it was Zacian, but it might actually be Thunderous. It's Phantom Force into Zacian, okay. It's not, um... Wait, how much does Thunderous even do to Zacian a plus one? Probably not very much, right? Well, in order to KO me, they'd have to go for... I think I just want Airstream to Dragapult here and Behemoth Blade into Zacian. Because that covers almost every option, I think. And the only way they get rid of Zacian this turn is if they want to go for a, a max Dragapult and we go for Phantasm, and then we would have, yep, boosted Thundee. I guess what they're supposed to do is... Okay, I killed the... I could have... Maybe, maybe taking out Dragapult was better, right? Maybe it was too hasty. They go for probably Phantasm into Zacian for the KO, right? And that makes my life really awkward. Because uh, Thunder is my only offense left, so I may actually accidentally lose this because I will run out of Dynamax and then. Yeah, and then I'll have minus one defense Thunderous into uh, Phantasm or Airstream, and it will come down to who's Incineroar's faster. Oh, right. I'm more of an attack boosted, though. Phantasm into. Yeah, it's bad for me. Zacian, please. Ah, uh, Zacian doesn't do this. Ah! Uh, okay, uh, that's really bad. It depends all. It all depends on what this last Pokemon is, truthfully. Alright, this is actually really bad, because uh, I don't have any offensive Pokemon in the back. So losing Z I should have just taken out the, the... That was a bad move. I got spooked, honestly. I got really spooked. Okay, please be faster. I don't, oh, I don't need speed in this, actually. They're faster. Okay, that's really bad. Um, uh, I messed up super badly. I super messed up. Super my bad, bros. Okay, we have to switch to Stone Drinner now. Because even though we're faster, they're just going to fake us out, and then, I will, then I'll, I'll lose that Mon, right? Switch Stone Drinner in and Parting Shot the Instant, I guess. Because they always, they always, I messed up so badly. They always fake out plus Phantasm, I think. And I don't have Protect when Thunder is. Ah, oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. If I had Torkoal Venus, this game is over. Let's fake out into my Stone Drinner. Yep. It's Phantasm into my Stone Drinner. Wait, do I even die to... Do I, wait, hang on, does, does Zacian, this Thunder's even, it probably doesn't die to Dragapult, right? No life orb and it's probably Jolly, right? It could be Adamant, I guess. 
Um, I'm non-maxed, and they're maxed. If they're, if, they're, if they're jolly, I don't die, right? Oh, it's a roll to die on Thundee. So I'm still better off switching here, I think. Stone Druner's into another max Phantasm, but I don't think they're that worried about Stone Druner right now. I think they're very worried about Thunderous, so I just do this. And then I try to win with, it, with, with Stone Druner boosted Flare Blitz <laughs> on Incineroar. That's the play. I could get this wrong and be still be in a lot of trouble, though, but I think they're kind of forced to target Thunderous here with Dragon move, right? Or Protect here, that's also a good move, and try and get the chip damage down, because they don't know how bulky I am. And even, if they're Jolly Max Attack, it's a roll in my Thunderous, but they don't know that. Like, they don't know anything about my set right now. And it's not a very good roll, it's probably like 50%. It's less than 50% for them to KO with Wind if they're jolly. Alright, Stone Trainer. <laughs> Come on, buddy! For all the marbles. I might as well defend, which is an issue. I want this to be either Guard or Phantasm. Or Wormwind into Thundee. It's probably, that's gotta be into Thundee, right? Yeah, okay, good. Ah, uh, but I'm, that's uh, fine, right? I drop Attack, which is bad. Drops Attack on both. Stone Trainer's gonna get the Flinch, though, agree? Give me the Flinch, Stony J. Give me the Flinch! Nope. Badge. Flare Blitz into who? Thundee? Okay. This Dragapult doesn't have Protect, so what I can do is Rock Slide Flare Blitz and pray it KOs. So I just Rock Slide here, and I can't block with Wide Guard, unfortunately, but I can Rock Slide Flare Blitz. What's the other moves in this Incineroar? The other moves in this Incineroar are Darkest... Uh, it does have Darkest Lariat, but it's not that strong right now. And yeah, Dragapult doesn't have Protect. Phantom Force, okay, they're disappearing into the Aether. Please flinch. I need this one to flinch really bad. Or crit. Either one is fine. Give me the flinch. For all the marbles. I could have hard read that as well and switched to Thundee. That might have been better. I'm kind of playing too fast, I think. Flinch? What's the point in using this move if it doesn't flinch? Huh? Oh, to instant again. Okay, I don't think I died. I gotta calc that, but I don't think Dragapult into my Stone Drunner kills. My custom set. Phantom Force and minus one defense. Yeah, it's a roll, but it's a pretty good roll. I'm slower, right? So I just parting shot here. Oh, I'm sorry, Stone Drunner. It's a defense drop for you. It's a pretty good roll. Because they're faster than me, right? They're instant faster. This is a really awkward end game. They lower my attack, and I lower their attack. Cool. I guess what I'm wondering is... First of all, what is this instant at? Because we're playing a mini game now of like when each Pokemon protects, right? I mean, I might lose this if I get this play wrong. Like this play is very, very, very important because it basically what it determines is minus minus three Flare Blitz does fifty three percent to my Thunderous, and then Dragapult with uh, Phantom Force. Yeah, I mean, I'm de basically I'm dead to the combo here. So I either call the Phantom Force and go for Fly, or I probably lose, right? Fake out plus, but I, I don't think I want to do that. Or I could Superpower. Wait, if they go for Dragon Arts, and yeah, I think I have to call the. I think I'm going to call the, the Dragon Darts this turn, and I'm going to go for Fake Out Foul Play. There's the Fake Out into the Dragapult, or the Ensign. I got it wrong again. Wait a second, how much does Incineroar do to Dragapult? Just 30%. Um, it's about at that rate. So what's my, my odds here are either I think that my Incineroar beats their Incineroar at minus 3, or I think that I kill with Dragapult with this. I'm, not, I'm only going to crit here. I hope that Flare Blitz kills is basically the thing. It doesn't crit. Oh god. And then I I'll also wonder if I'm not in range of... Yeah, I played this one really badly. Instant goes down. I'm not sure if maybe it was better to just play... Uh, maybe maybe my instant beats their instant in the 1v1. I think I messed this up in a lot of ways. But this is a very good roll to kill, I think. Burn doesn't matter, but crit would kill. We also didn't, might not even need crit. Oh, okay. Just get the kill. No crit. Alright, alright, cool. Alright, we won game one. That was really close because I didn't... I, I had such an early game lead and I totally blew it. Oh boy, that was really bad. I didn't have a good answer to Dragapult. Should have just brought Torkoal Vino in back. I don't know what I was thinking. I'd at least switch Thunderous out here into Torkoal, I think. I can't drop the attack, but I can lower the attack by two with Sun. Because um, it's going to max... Okay, with max Kingler, that means Vino Thunder can definitely clean up. And I don't think Satian should go down this turn, though I guess it's possible. Um, I either want to speed tire or I'm just flat out faster. It might be bulky Thunder Satian on this team. I think they probably want to target on Thundee, though, because Thunderous is the more threatening Pokemon when you consider... Wait, actually, there's Zacian's just going to protect. I should have subbed. That was really dumb. All right, here's Kingler. Oh, it's faster. Into Torkoal? Into Torkoal? You want to hit Torkoal so... Okay, it's max speed. Okay. Oh, you want to hit Torkoal so bad, bro. You want to hit Torkoal so bad. All right, this is good. I put it out of sub range now. It's very valuable. 
Bro, you want to hit circle so bad, bro. You want to hit it so bad. Bop, 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 bop. And that's what we call Behemoth Blade. This is G-Max Foam Burst, which doesn't set the rain, but kills my Torkoal. It's all right. Torkoal's doing its job by being a homie. Oh, Torkoal, you're so good. Holy cow. That's why we call him Torqual. That's why he's called the Torqual. I have so many options. I didn't think the Torkoal was going to take literally zero from that. So what are their options here? They need to double into my Zacian to KO it, right? Uh, I could yawn the Kingler, but the Kingler isn't really that much of a threat, to be honest. Um, I think I want a Burning Jealousy with Torkoal. The issue is what happens with my other Pokemon. I think uh, now my least value Pokemon is actually Thunderous, right? So I think just switching this thing out into this and clicking Burning Jealousy is really good. It gives me a good position pretty much regardless of what the opponent does. Um, I just need to make sure that I kill Zacian at some point. What else? Kingler's dead to G-Max Venusaur, and then... Um, Position is dead to any other attack, including um, any residual damage. It's protect, right? Yeah, okay. But I still think this play was correct, to be honest. I could have yawned the Torkoal, I guess, but I still think this is the best play I have. Okay, 119 to 51. But now things get interesting, right? Because now what happens is the game might thunder is a plus 4 attack boost. Wait, is it only plus 2? Is it only plus. Isn't it plus 4? Oh, is any no? Uh, is any drop the same amount, or is minus two? I actually don't know how that works. I guess we'll find out right now. I'm in a good position. I should not throw this. Oh, it's only plus two. Okay, cool. Um, but I don't really want to max thunderous because I just take infinite damage, right? So I think I just wild charge, and uh, I might run out of turns, right, of sun. But it's not that important because after this goes down, they can't KO. They can't KO my thunderous, right? I just need to get Venusaur in. Okay, they didn't switch. They went for Behemoth Blade. Yeah, they probably thought I was gonna max there, but I want to max Venusaur this game. They're probably doubling. Th Actually, they probably know only one attack in the Thundee is my guess. Uh, body press is better, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I bring Jealousy. Okay, she makes Foam Burst. Someone's dead here. I think we'd rather have it. I don't even know. Probably, yeah, Thunderous going down here is actually good for me. Perfect. Now we're cooking. Now we're really cooking. Oh, I did watch her for Incinera, though, right? It's kind of annoying. I could still lose this for sure. Okay, Zacian going down is really nice, though. I still have Torkoal alive as well, which is good because I can maybe reset the sun. Okay, let's go one you saw because it's probably instant or here, right? Yeah, there's instant. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? It's probably just Crab Hammer, right? The issue is I don't really have a safe switch anymore, right? This instant has Citrus Berry, though. Um, do I die? I probably died to Sun Boosted uh, Attack, right? Um, I'm not dead to. Uh, I am pretty much dead to Flare with the Sun, so should I max card here? Wait, do I even need to max? I could just sleep part of the instant as well and just be like a, a Venusaur player, but that gives me a chance to lose, right? Whereas if I G Max Vine Lash into Kingler, yeah, I'm gonna G Max Vine Lash the Kingler and I'm gonna body press the instant. If it's a Amoongus is probably the last Mon, I think, or maybe Dragapult. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a bad play by me. Darn, okay. Ah, uh, I threw this. I think I actually just threw this super hard. Because if they one shot me here, I'm gonna lose to Incineroar and some Sun, unfortunately. Or do you take it? You take it? You take it? Oh, they played really well. Darn it. Mungus takes a zero from that. Unfortunately. Get the crit even. Oh my god. Alright, Venusaur, hang in there. You're not safe. You're not hanging in there. Flare Blitz into Venu. Yeah. It's a lot of recoil. Oh, I survived. Um, That's interesting. That's actually very interesting because now they're going to take a ton of damage. Alright, big. That was a nice roll for me. Ooh, so close. But that's actually. uh, That seals it. That's game over. I don't think there's any moves left they have. I don't think they have any moves left that can still win for them. Nice. Okay, yep, that's guaranteed chip damage. I have Max Flare here, right? What happens if I'm... Uh, if I if I G-Max Vine Lash instant, it's game over, right? G-Max Vine Lash and Yawn Amoongus. I think that's game over, right? Because if they switch to Kingler, then I, they die to G-Max Vine Lash, and Amoongus and Kingler should never be Zacian. So I'll go for the kill on instant. I can't even protect, right? So this is a guaranteed kill. And then I have two turns of Vine Lash on the Kingler. Ah, that was bad, okay. They're kicking one of my mons here. I just don't know which one. I guess if I lose to Kingler, I could lose. But it's pretty low HP at this point, right? I sludge bomb into Torkoal, I guess. Oh, Spore. Oh, right, they can Spore me. Oh, but that's fine, because now Kingler comes in and has to take G-Max Vine Lash through Protect, or I could just KO Amoongus. How much is Venusaur with G-Max Vine Lash doing to Kingler? It's probably max HP, right? It might even sure it's max HP, because it probably wants to be Station at plus one. Let's see, G-Max Vine Lash... Through Protect with Life Orb, that's 52%. That's a lot of damage. I think that G-Max Vine Lash here, and then Switch here is pretty much game over. Because even because the Amoongus' only damaging move is Sludge Bomb, right? 
as long as like Kingler goes down eventually, they lose. And Sun Boost did with Sun Up, like Zacian has a better chance of winning this, I think. Protect, yeah. I could have gone for Max Guard and the Leaf Storm next turn, I guess. That also would have been fine. I just figured this does so much damage through Protect. Also, they need to Sludge. Yeah, that's they would die to Vine Lash in two turns, right? So that's pretty much game over. They need to. They would need to one-shot my Zacian. Spore. That was a really good play. Good play, good play, good play. Um, I think that they... This person actually played really well. I think that I just slightly outplayed them. Because I also played really well. Um, Alright, Kingler's going to die to Vine Lash next turn. That's what seals this. Because, yeah, the chip damage is too much. Because the, the Amoongus never... They need to one-shot my Zacian, basically. Which is not possible in Sun. Because even though crits ignore drops, they don't, they don't ignore the drops incurred by Sun. Um, I can literally do nothing and win. Uh, I protect here because why not? I protect here as well for why not. Okay. First turn to sleep. Second turn to sleep. Crab hammer. They need this to one shot. It's actually a really strong move. Oh, well, that was the crit. Okay. GG. I'm sorry, Torbal. You did great. And now Venusaur's parting shot. Good Viking win. All right, I played this pretty poorly, actually, but I um, both games I played well. I, like, I had very extremes, very much extremes, because I was playing really well and then very badly. Uh, but this is a game over. They don't have any moves that hit me anymore. All right, they played well. It was a cool team. Intimidati, Intimidati. And what I want, what do I want? What do any of us want, really? I want to deny speed control, right? So I want to fake out into this and sub. Okay, ideally this is Talon and not Taunt. It's probably just Taunt though, right? That was a really good play. And now I lose. Okay, GG. Okay, um... I have to Parting Shot into this. And Behemoth Blade into this. Unless if Helping Hand Thunderbolt kills me then I'm dead here, but I don't think it does. Oh, it is just Helping Hand here, okay. T-Bolt, it's a lot of damage. That's probably game over. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, honestly. Actually, I can do nice speed control, right? By going into Venus here. That was a good move. I, I didn't really do anything about that. Let me slow down and think a little bit, though. Because I can deny speed control here if I, if I would like, which is kind of valuable. Or I can maybe deny speed control. So by bringing an instant here, this is what it's called. is Helping Hand, Tailwind, Protect, and Taunt. Or Helping Hand, Tailwind, Moonblast, and Taunt. So it doesn't have Protect. So now it's in Fake Out range. So the question is, does it, want to, does it value Tailwind here, or does it value Taunt? Because each of them gives me something, right? Tailwind, it values, okay. They expected me to probably go somewhere else there. They don't have goggles on this team, right? So Electro, yeah, they want to go for speed control. Okay, I need to get a sleep better here. It's kind of important. If I miss, it's bad, right? Okay, bad. Um. Okay. It's fine as well. That was a really bad miss, unfortunately. If that hits, I'm in really good shape. Um, what's the goal here? Because they're probably going to Volt Switch this turn, right? Do I kill a Lucky with these? I think I lose. I'm out of time. I don't have time to calc. Oh, no. All right, I really need to not kill here. Oh, Electro Ball. Oh, right. I didn't even look at the moves. Oh, no. Is someone hanging in there? Oh, Jesus. I'm snoring. All right, I lose. GG. Well played. Unless this survives, now I need to max there. Missing sleep powder doomed me, um, but it's okay. I probably could play better as well. Oh, it's landing next. Okay, it's fine, right? It's air streaming here, right? So I could switch here and burning jealousy and potentially get a burn down, and then try and win in the late game. Like because I don't think I get speed control ever if they air stream here, right? I don't know if this is correct, but it's what I'm choosing to do. I figured they might max this turn. It could just be Earthquake, though, as well. 
Yeah, they actually end up maxing, so I think this is Airstream is the thing. I think it's Helping Hand max Airstream. Taunt to Torkoal, okay. This should be Airstream to Zacian, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Or, yeah, Airstream to Zacian, okay. I played pretty well. If I hit that Sleep Powder, I might have actually won this. Um, I'm dead to, uh, what am I dead to now? Because I get the burn. Do you have to burn Jealousy off? This is AV. Do you kill both? Or kill one, burn the other, because of the speed boost. Thank you, burning Jealousy. Because this is actually potentially winnable. Potentially. Because Kyurem isn't that bulky, right? Their Tailwind's gone, and so Venus was the fastest thing on the field. And I haven't maxed yet, right? When you start with a great friend, okay. Kyurem, okay. Um, well, I'm dead to any- they want to go for Blizzards, right, realistically? Or do they want to, they want they probably just earth power me right my question is is dynamax venusaur how much do i take from these attacks because i can't predict torquil so i'm probably dead uh, almost certainly dead to earth power right oh wait i could sleep out of the curum right could i sleep out of body press the curum or could i hard read a curum protect and go for a wait how much is i wish i had more time i run into time there's no time to calc because my calc is broken ah that's really frustrating i wanted to see if ooze into i wanted to see if ooze into max vine lash or into max flare and sun kills Okay, versus Curum. This might even be Protect. Yeah, okay. This is why I wanted to calc around this. Curum W, I'm Gigantamaxed. I'm Sun Up. I get the Vine Lash down, which is really nice. Oh, they're going to go for double Airstream here. That's their play, right? Because that way they're faster than me. I still can't predict Torkoal, though. Oh, it's a Torkoal. Oh, interesting. Venus are still pretty healthy then. I didn't really have a better move, to be honest, with Torkoal other than body pressing. So the question was, should I have gone for... Wait, how don't I just Heat Wave and Sun? In Sun, doing to Cure him. Um, it... Ah, uh, this is actually winnable. Wait, I think I could win this, depending on this turn. Max Strike has a chance to kill here. Um, and then there's a one versus one of Burned Landorus versus Venusaur with Vine Lash up. They're adamant. They're jolly, right? Yeah, they're, they're jolly. So that's what they were going for. And to... Venusaur. Uh, yeah. And their Kyurem's gonna be faster now because they got two speed boosts. I could have maxed Garter there, but it doesn't help me. I had to make this play, I think. Yeah, that was well played. I didn't have a counter play to that, except uh, throwing them as Fly, because now they get to go for uh, Fly, and Burned Lander as Fly probably kills me. I'm gonna say probably there, because it's not guaranteed. It's Jolly Lander's T, right? Lander's T. Why is this not in the calc? It dies, okay. I think I made the right moves, though. I don't think I had any better to do. So if I had Protect, this is winnable, but I don't have Protect. So I would need them to miss a... Like, I would need them to not fly this turn, and they always fly this turn, right? Because they're faster than me. They can miss fly, though. It's not 100% accurate. So I have a 35% chance of winning this. Uh, if I had one more turn of max... I wish the calculator wasn't broken, but I can't be too upset with myself. I mean, I didn't play very well. Maybe it should have been Cobaberry. Cobaberry would have potentially state changed this. Let's see, that's not what I want. All right, Leaf Storm. Miss fly! Miss Venus are dodge! Go Venus are dodge it! Nah. Yeah, I didn't deserve to win that one. I played pretty bad, but this matchup's just too hard. Ugh. I could have played better, though. Where did I make mistakes? The Regilecki stuff. Letting Zacian go down was pretty bad. Um, I mean, we have a general idea of what they want to do now, right? Like, we know that they're not going to just give us Kyurem for free. Because as long as Zacian remains at plus one speed... Yeah, okay, same lead as before. Let's get rid of the ones that faster this time, because that was a real issue last time. I'm assuming that Magnet Regilecki doesn't kill me, right? That, that it wasn't a roll. I should probably count that, because if I get that wrong, I'm definitely done for. I also have, definitely have to protect here. I think. Every day of the week. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay. It's interesting. I could have subbed there, but I need to get to plus one speed to actually have a chance at winning this, I think. The issue is now they're helping in Thunderbolt, and it's a roll. It's a 50% chance to kill. So what if they get the what if they get the roll to kill? Do I lose insta? Is it just an auto loss from that point? Because I would have plus two, plus one. I'd have plus two Thunderous. But I think I would just always lose, right? So is there a do I have a better play? Because if I switch, what happens? Actually, switching to instant here is okay, right? Because then I can parting shot. Like, because then they probably go to Curum, correct? And then. 
If they go Kyurem, they have to Hailstorm Decay with Thunder, which just gives me a parting shot out into Zacian, and then that gives me... Actually, yeah, this is still fine. I actually switch here. I just can't risk helping in Thunderbolt. I need to win this game with Zacian this time. I can also just fake out for the kill into the thing, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm always um, attacking again. Helping Hand? Yeah, this is the right play. And Sin doesn't need its health as a resource, because it, it's dead to Earth Power anyway. Okay, it's T-Bolt. Okay. This is like a Thundy of plus one, which is quite nice. I survived the attack. No para. I don't even know if this kill is. It's actually really... If I don't kill here, we're in actually turbo good shape. Okay, I get the kill. I'm too strong. Okay, yeah. Last turn, my max as well, but it's okay, because Zacian's going to be used offensively to stop their max turns. I think actually subbing turn one and then airstreaming turn two would be really nice there. Yeah, there's Kyurem. Okay. All right, here comes the big guns. Any big guns in chat? They have to Hailstorm if they want to. I guess they can Hailstorm switch to Landy. That'd be pretty bad for me, right? Yeah, they have to Hailstorm here. They're probably switching to Landorus, right? But I don't think I have a really good switch into that. Uh, if I just won that game one, I might have been able to close this out. It's gonna be, I mean, they switch Whims into Landy, I guess. I think that pretty much confirms they're maxing and Hailstorming though, which is very interesting. Stone Junior's potentially game winning here, which is kind of crazy to think about. But I think Stone Junior in the back actually wins just the game because they max Kieran here, which means they're giving up speed control for the rest of the game, assuming they Airstream or Hailstorm. But they have to Hailstorm here or they could guard, I guess. Hellstorm, yep, okay, that's really good. I lose Thundee, unfortunately. Bye-bye! Bye-bye. However, we're actually putting ourselves into, like, a super nice endgame. I think, because what's the lander set? I think this is winnable. It's AV Landy with Earthquake, Fly, Rock Slide, Superpower. It doesn't have any damage output. They have one turn of Tamlin left. This is winnable. This is super winnable. All right, Stone Junior, it's time. Well, it's almost time. Because at minus one, they shouldn't be doing infinite damage with Earth Power through Protect, and yeah, it's still out of range. And now we party shot the Landorus, right? To get it to do minus two if possible, because now the Landorus is no longer threatening. They would need to stall for four, three more turns. Like, they'd have to save Kyurem for three more turns, which would probably require a double Protect. This takes Max Quake, but we're no, we don't have any special Pokemon left. Actually, we didn't bring any special Pokemon to this fight, so it's fine. I could fake out the Landy, but that doesn't, we actually want this in order to go down here. We do not want to survive this turn. Party shot the landy because it's guaranteed drop, and then I protect Zacian. Earthquake, excellent. They actually damage themselves there, which is cool with me. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's still cool with me. Bye bye. And now the question is, how are they going to get through Stony J? That's my question to the world. I just need to make sure I time the hailstorm turns correctly because there should still be two turns or three turn, two turns of hail left. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Zacian has a little bit more damage than I would love to be honest. True, to be honest. However, it's not a huge deal. Landris' moves are Earthquake, Fly, Rock Slide, and Superpower. It's holding the Assault Vest. Uh, Talon's over. They cannot switch into Whimsicott. I now get to bring in Stony J and go for the W. Because what this does is it means they never get speed control again. Because they basically, I always wide guard here. <laughs> Actually, I tracked. Um, the question is do I want to hard read the Protect? Because it's super obvious. I think I just Behemoth Blade this turn into Kyurem and wide guard. It's so obviously going to Protect. Do I want to sub? I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I should have subbed, maybe. I don't know. This stuff felt, like, too risky. They're probably just superpowering and trying to get to some damage down, right? Superpower? Into Zacian, right? That's actually kind of annoying. I should have subbed. I guess I'm dead to crit. It's actually doing a fair bit of damage, unfortunately. Okay. I actually might still lose this, potentially. Oh, wait, do I still... I think I still lose this, because I didn't think about Landorus in the end. Though it can only superpower me, right? I only Wide Guard and Behemoth Blade again. I just hope that they... Hope they... I mean, I guess they could sack here. Sacking makes this situation really, really kind of precarious. But sacking wins to Hail. I guess in the hopes that... Or I counted Hail turned wrong. Please don't get the double. Okay, no double. Okay, unless I, ca unless I counted Hail turned wrong... Which is definitely possible. Because this should be the last turn of hail, right? This next one? Or like, like this is this is the last damage you turn of hail, right? Kyurem's down. This is turn four of Kyurem, right? So it's hail still. Sail still goes out. Okay, so now it's a two versus one. 39 times four. Is that? Am I in range? I'm out of range of sub. That's really bad. That's real bad. Chat, I'm not going to lie to you. Stony J, it's up to you. Stony J, I think it's up to you, buddy. Oh god, I know I ask for a lot, Stone Turner, but this this is really it. 
I have neutral land. I have neutralization. I have minus one to hundred against Landorus. Oh god. What are my options? Chat. Do you believe in the power of love? Oh chat. Oh chat. It's time. Attract. Protect. I think I have to do it. I think I have to do it. I gotta put all the marbles here. Please superpower me. Don't earthquake. Don't earthquake. Oh, I got outplayed. <laughs> I, they outplayed me. There's nothing else to say about it. I don't die though. So Andrew is super bulky. Okay. One earthquake ends this. <laughs> it's a track time, baby. Okay. Uh, what are my options here? Like, if it's gonna superpower me, do I lose anyway? So I should probably wide guard, right? Like, if it's superpowers at this point in the game, I probably lose, right? I probably wide guard this turn, pray for the attract, and then Behemoth Blade. I think they're gonna. Uh, they might superpower me here, but like, it's always if like I always still have the. I have a fifty percent chance of attract this turn, and if Rock Slide was gonna kill anyway, then I have a fifty percent chance of attract next turn, meaning I basically have a three to four chance of winning if Behemoth Blade and Rock Slide kills. <laughs> Did I crit? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, well at least we used attract. Okay, game three. All right, our first game three for both of us. All right, that was really hard. The Stone Drainer was actually a freaking tank. Stone Drainer was so good. Oh my god. Okay, it's game three. For all the marbles. A lucky whims. Okay, same lead as before. So I think the mistake I made last time is thinking that Zacian's HP matters if I'm going to do this lead, right? And this, like, helping in Thunderbolt is too risky for them, right? I think. I think it's just Airstream sub here. It's very risky if they helping hand me, but, like... The realistic play is to protect again, right? Because if they electro- like, if Zacian gets a speed boost, this becomes very dangerous for my opponent. It's like, because plus one speed Zacian outspeeds the whole team at minus the two in the field, realistically. Like, it outspeeds Kira and Landy and Tailwind. So, ensuring that I can find a way to get that plus one speed by setting a substitute turn one instead of protecting is really good. It's just risky, because if I get it wrong, I probably lose. So, my, my heart's definitely in my stomach right now. But, like, we also know that helping a Thunderbolt isn't a guaranteed KO, right? We know it's only a roll. Not helping hand. Come on, not helping hand. Oh, no. They super hard read me. That's really bad. Oh, and a Thundy. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. That went very well. I'm not going to lie to the chat. That went extraordinarily well. Because now I have sub up. Sub up. Uh. Um. Wait, so what am I? Can I, I can do whatever I want right now, right? I can kill both mons. Wait, can I kill both mons here? What are they going to do? I airstream again, right? To get to plus two speed into this, and I... Does plus one Sacred Sword kill a Lucky? According to this, plus one Sacred Sword always KOs, so I could Sacred Sword here, but I'm risking my sub. I'm always Airstreaming... Am I always Airstreaming? I could also Airstream here, right? I should probably Airstream here and Sacred Sword here, right? What's the worst case? They full switch into Landy. I'm still plus two speed at that point, right? And we know I don't die to anything. Tailwind? Okay. It's also very risky to bring Landy in here, but that's another story. It's full switch. Oh, it's T-Bolt, okay. I think I get both kills here, actually. Because Sacred Sword should get this. Ah, uh, they have Bulk. That's really bad. Uh, it's somewhat bad, I would say. It's not really bad. I could have doubled the Alecky there. Because, actually, doubling the Alecky was the better play. That was a mistake on my part. Because um, what they can do now is they can... Oh, wait. They can't really electro me down, though, right? And we know I don't die to Thunderbolt from this range. So I can Air Street. I can Behemoth Blade. Actually, maybe not taking the kill there was good, in hindsight. We know I don't die to Thunderbolt, so I can just Air Stream into this. Because even at plus one, I'm still faster. And there's no guarantee they even know that. Airstream plus Behemoth Blade. They might actually have assumed that I was adamant because I'm so because of the Thunderbolt did less than they expected. So I can just Airstream plus Behemoth Blade and put myself in a really good nice position. I could still lose this. This is not over by any means. Because we're protected. Okay, that's fine. What is this going to be? Electroweb? Volt Switch? Thunderbolt? Electroweb? Thunderbolt? Okay, good move. Yeah, I can move. I just need to have a crit or parry here and I'm pretty much in clear. No para. No crit. Nice. I could have protected there, but it didn't seem worth it. Truthfully. Alright, now I have Neutralization, uh, Attack, plus one Thunderous, Stone Drainer in the back. The issue is they're going to go for the Double Protect, and I don't know if I have Counterplay to that. Oh, it's Urshifu. Oh, it's Choice Band Urshifu. That's very interesting. Um, okay, that's not what I expected at all. Wait, if I get this turn wrong, I lose, right? Because I could, I can Behemoth Blade and Superpower. I think I lose. Hang on. Wait, do I lose? No, I should have a guaranteed win here, because I can Superpower here and Switch. And then as long as Zacian comes in after Hail and after Tailwind, I always win, right? The thing is that Instant always takes one, right? Incineroar always takes one attack. 
And I'm plus three speed. I just need to hope that Thunderous one shots from here, because there's actually no guarantee it does. This might have been a mistake, actually. Okay, it fails. That probably means, unfortunately, they're going for... Oh, it did no damage! Oh, I lost. I super threw, I super threw, I super threw. Oh, it didn't wait. It blizzarded? Miss, miss, miss. It's in dodge? Okay. Could have been worse, I guess. I lost, though. That's really upsetting. Oh, what, what kind of play was that? They haven't maxed yet. Wait, no, it's still okay, right? Is it okay? How many? They tailwinded? They protected? Wait, I win, I win. There's only one turn of tailwind left, because then they brought in this. So as long as I... Oh, no, but Stonejourner can't kill here, can it? Fagot plus Rock Slide is not going to kill this thing, right? How much is Stonejourner versus with Rock Slide versus Urshifu? How much am I doing here? Oh, God. I'm doing 13% to 15%. Fake up, that's, that's like 25. Fake up plus Rock Slide should kill here. And then Tailwind's over next turn, right? I could also Flare Bliss here. Could I just Flare Bliss just better? Is Flare Bliss just better here? No, Fake up, Fake up is needed. Because if they don't, they can only max one. Question is, they might actually max Urshifu here. Instead of Pokeball, it might be Urshifu, actually. Yeah, that's a really good move. Tailwind's over. But actually, I think this is still winnable, <laughs> depending on Blizzard and stuff. Oh, they missed that Blizzard. I should have flown. If I would flown, it was game over. Oh, they protected. Okay. Last turn of Tailwind, two turns of max left. What do they do here, though? They can't KO. They need to... Oh, I would have killed. Not going to Stone Journer. Okay. I got a Flare Blitz there. Oh, it feels bad. Come on, Stony J. Come on, Stony J. Give me a big two KO here. Nope, not a two KO. Um, their Tailwind's over, so I get to go for Rock Slide and Flare Blitz here, right? I have no better play. It's always Rock Slide, Flare Blitz. God, this is so tense. I just need one Mon down, because Zacian can KO either Mon here. They Knuckle into Stone Journer. I'm sorry. No, don't kill. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Who are they attacking? Oh, no, they're going to Blizzard me. Oh, no, 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 no. no. They're going to Blizzard me. They're just going for Blizzard, right? They're just banking on a 50% chance to win. I'm going to lose. Blizzard? No Earth Power. Earth Power into... Oh, they, they messed up! They messed up by one! Oh my god, Stone Journey was so good! Oh lord, they messed up. <sighs> I think we win, I think we win, I think we win. Because the Flare Bus kills here? I'm, mm, do I not a recoil? Oh, thank you, thank you, Players Cup 2 EV spread. Oh, thank you, Incineroar. Holy cow, because Tailwind's over, they have no speed boost. Instant goes down. I should just Flare Bus the first time. I lived! Okay, Incineroar, and now Tailwind's over. And one HP Zacian one shots. All right. All right. There should be game. I think this is game. They have no tail one. They have no speed boosts. I should have played more defensively with my Zacian earlier. They have what, plus one attack and that's it. So I get to go Behemoth Blade. That Blizzard miss ended up being pretty influential, but it's only a 49% chance to hit both of them. So the odds are in my favor. And if they missed Thunderous, then the game was over. I could have flown, I guess. And that's Behemoth Blade. They should one shot. If it doesn't, I will be absolutely shocked. All right, that's good. Really good games. That was really difficult. GG's. Was a lot of fun. Luck and the rest. Oh my god, that was crazy. I think since this is the time to be a little bit more aggressive than I've been being. It was a conversation. Okay, that's what I expected. Um, truthfully, they're probably just gonna double protect here, right? I can go Torkoal and set myself up really nicely for a. What do they have in the back, right? What is their- what is their- I still don't understand the Thunder Sensor. I think I definitely am supposed to do something with Incineroar here. I think I either go Torque or Zacian. Maybe just go Zacian and get the speed boost and put pressure on them that way. They could actually just attack with Zacian here as well. Or they get like Helping Hand Close Combat, I guess. Maybe that was a bad play. It was, uh, I kind of got ahead of myself. It was Sacred Sword, though. I mean, even Helping Hand Sacred Sword is not going to do that much damage. Once I got Protects, let's see if Zacian protects here. I guess they wouldn't want a Helping Hand there, right? Yeah, okay, just goes to the next. Okay, this is fine. I break the Focus Sash. Um, I get Chaosation here, and I only have to take up Behemoth Blade to do it, right? How good is that for me? It's probably pretty good, right? I can Behemoth Blade and Airstream and get the get myself in a really nice position. Because they don't have Tailwind up yet, so they can't really- they can't help a hand me, truthfully. I just need to hope Behemoth Blade and Airstream kills, but I'm fairly certain it- Yeah, actually, I caught this earlier, it definitely kills. So I can Behemoth Blade Zacian and Airstream Zacian and get the KO here. How good is that for the rest of this game? I'm gonna have plus two Zacian, which means I outspeed everything in Tailwind, right? Including choice, including choice Scarf Dracovish. They go for Tailwind, that's fine. I just need to not get crit here. They're faster than me now, which is fine. I have to take a Behemoth Blade somewhere, or Play Rough, maybe. They go for Behemoth Blade into my, probably Zacian, I would guess. But Thundia is a real problem for them, so it might be Thundia, too. 
It was stunny, actually. Okay, that's fine. Like, Zacian being a full HP is really nice, in my opinion. This is plus one Behemoth Blade, so it should do a fair bit. Okay, I don't get the KO, but that's fine, because we didn't really need the KO there. Get the KO with that. Alright, that's fine. Is it Dracovish Max here? Like, what's coming on? What's going on? It's probably Dracovish switching here, right? It's probably Helping Hand and then switching Dracovish, which would mean I would have to sacrifice my Thunderous Spectre, actually, to switch. Okay. But that dies to... I'm plus two speed, right? So I can just... I can just definitely one-shot this. There's no move they can use that... Protect Tailwind, Helping Hand, and Blast. They can't do anything about this. They can switch to Incineroar, but they'd still be taking a really powerful attack. It wouldn't gain that much ground out of it, in my opinion. Okay, they actually just Max Spectre. I guess they're going for max guard, but I'm still going to have plus one Zacian at plus three speed after this. So even if they max strike me, I'm still fine, right? Oh, does it live this? I thought it didn't. I really didn't think it lived this. Am I crazy? Max speed. I hope they Moonblast drop me. Okay, they're max speed. That's confirming that. Not super useful, but good to know. I got bad news. <laughs> I got bad news for my opponent. That's so that's gonna be a 1-0 win. I don't think with no Dynamax they can come back from this. I didn't even have to reveal that I brought to Torkoal in the back either, which is really nice. And they're forced to show me their last one here unless they want to disconnect. Because they keep can't forfeit mid sending out a Pokemon. That's really good info, in my opinion. Wow, this is a three-turn game, because Thunder is max turn one. <laughs> it's kinda crazy. Instant, okay, cool. Mm. I guess they could have doubled me this turn. They could have, or the, the, the turn that the that last turn, they could have switched into it, which would have been kind of bad. Okay, I win. Game one. That's not bad at all. We need to do that one more time. Super is guaranteed here. All right, it's game one. Let's do that again for game two. I do have the option of Wanyasaur. I didn't even, like, how are they going to adjust is my question. Because the like, issue is it puts me in a position versus Spectre, which is kind of an issue. When's it got Dracovish as the lead, actually? Okay. But it's Choice Scarf Dracovish. I got I intimidated it right away. Um. Alright, well, I'm not going to lie to you. I may, I want to make a really hard read here. Because I'm pretty sure Zacian switches in this turn. And they Tailwind. And then they go for Helping Hand plus Behemoth Blade. I'm pretty sure that's their play. So I want to... They expect Fae got Airstream here, right? So they, they probably want to protect... Oh, wait. Does that even work? Uh, this is a really risky read. Do I want to make it? It's kind of useless, right? It doesn't do that much for me. Their mind is one attack. Like, they might... They, and their scarf. So they probably KO into net worst, right? And that's pretty bad for me. But then I get to get Zacian in, right? Yeah. I'm gonna hard read the, the switch into the... Uh-oh. Chad, that wasn't my best move. In fact, that was one of my worst ones. Ever. <laughs> uh, I guess they were just comfortable giving up Dracovish. Protect whims? Okay. That's my bad, Chad. I made a bad play. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could've just fake... I wanted to just fake out Airstream. Oh, they fished for him to Stundy. Okay. They're going for the two-shot. Alright, I put myself in a bad position. I probably lose now. I, I could just I wanna just fake out airstream. I don't know what I did there. I'm, I'm super throwing. Um I can probably still win this, but it gets a lot harder now because I let Thundy take so much damage for no reason. I need to get three spear airstream be boost up as well. Um, which I can't do right now because of Tailwind. So yeah, I think I I think I threw this. That was really dumb of me. I, I just need to fake out Airstream turn one. I, I just got greedy for no reason. Even switch to Torque. Actually, you know what the best play there is? Probably switch to Torque while Airstream whims, right? Because that gives me very nice position in Gurus. Alright, I need to find a way through this Talon turns. Alright, yeah, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. I wish I knew how. Oh, that's interesting. It's a Torque. It's not so much. Um, I get rid of one of their mons, but I'm in pretty bad trouble here. I wish I knew if Burning Jealousy affected Zacian by, like, this. I could have Airstreamed into the Whims again. Is that better? Airstreaming Whims there? Because I think now I just lose to Zacian, right? I might be able to still win this, because I do have still... Uh, they, they don't have any ways of getting speed boost, right? Because it's probably Spectrization is the last two. I'm pretty sure this play is always... I wish I knew if, I wish I knew if Burning Jealousy burned here, but I don't. Um... Yeah, anyway, I have a pretty clear play. They're going to go for Helping Hand Behemoth Blade, right? Just to cover the instant. So I'm going to search instant and lose my Dynamax and go for Burning Jealousy. So I could have yawned as well, but I want to, I need to break the ones that Focus Sash and putting, getting Behemoth Blade out, or getting Fiery Burning Jealousy here also... 
It's good for it's good because it breaks the woman's cut to focus sash. And it and it might two shot the Zacian if I'm lucky, but probably not. Helping hand, yep. Behemoth blade. Unless they wanted to hard read the switch in, but that'd be unfortunate if they sacred sorted here. Oh my god, oh it's a torpel. Okay, it does less it does like 57 damage. Which is quite nice. Okay, let's find out if I burn here. I don't think I do. Do a two shot. Do I burn? Give me the burn. Oh, oh, curtain was a caught. Okay. Not great, not gonna lie. Let's switch here into Thundy again. And Body Prestation. I would uh wait, do I want to get the Whims KO here? If I KO Whims, there's still two turns of Talon, right? So I'd actually rather body prestization, I think. Ah, that was a bad play, Spectre, right? That was really bad. Um, okay. This is really bad. Wait, I need to kill the Whimsicott. If I kill Whimsicott, I win, right? Wait, this is actually fine, provided I don't die to Moonblast. Do they protect? Oh my god! Oh, it's purple, it's fine. Okay. Wait, just so much damage. What the heck? Oh, like, if I burn Jealousy, I always win. That was really... I'm, I'm just turbo-throwing constantly. I'm never dead to... I should just foul play here. I foul play Burning Jealousy here every time, I think. So as long as one of my Pokemon survives, long enough to attack the Wims. Ah, uh, Wims is protecting, though. Ah, uh, but then Instinct comes in and can fake out, right? I don't know why I forgot they had Protect. I'm just, I'm playing so badly. Don't Protect, just Moonblast. Yeah, I played well. Well played. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I should have yawned, at least. Oh, okay, they just killed Torkoal. Wow. Because if I go Zacian now, like, I needed to deny Trick Room somehow is the issue. I need a special attack boost too. This is over. I lost. I messed up super bad. Oh man. Okay. Ah, oh, I threw so badly. I threw super badly. It's okay. Okay. I don't think this is winnable anymore. Um, I go instant and I fake out plus wild charge. Ah, oh, this is maybe still winnable. There's probably a way to do this actually. Um, I guess I just foul play the Whimsicott. And Harding shot the Spectrier. I should just go for the win. I'm just going for the win. It's fine. I'll lose, but I'll, I'll like if they stay in here. They went for the double and got it. I lost on double protect. This game was guaranteed mine, and they went for double protect and got it. But I'm only in this position because I I played badly anyway, so I can't be too upset, right? Phantasm. Okay. Minus one defense plus two special attack on the Spectrier. Uh, if I had one turn left to Sun, this is actually still winnable. Oh man, I feel super bad. Uh, double protect there. If I if they fail that, I win always. Because then it's I, yeah, unfortunate. Well, I made the right play at least. Tell me the sun is still up. Please tell me the sun is still up. It's definitely over. I'm for it. I guess they could still potentially throw this. Um, let's have Kaizo. Man, I can't believe I lost it. I lost a game here. This is super bad. Oh, it's still maxed. Um, oh, but yeah, just max quakes me for the KO. Okay, well I lost. I guess I want to see if. Wait, if I protect here, oh, they just Tailwind, right? So I always have to fight in Tailwind. Ah, double protect is a lame way to lose, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, I played pretty well, they just, yeah. But, uh, no, no, sorry, I played really poorly. And that's why I lost, and that's why I deserve to lose. Like that turn one was atrocious. I don't, I don't know what, like what I was thinking. And ne I, like never came in Whimsicott was also really bad. Like I just kind of autopiloted through this. Um. I don't think Venusaur should come though. I think I have the right Pokemon. I think I've got exactly the right Pokemon. I just need to be a little bit more disciplined. And like not make super turbo hard reads. Cause like who cares if Zacian switches in there, right? If I get rid of Zacian and I get rid of Whimsicott. I guess Zacian switching there is kind of bad though, right? That's what I got was the issue. And if I'm gonna make a play like that, I should just be. So if I, if, it's, if the situation's the same, what I should be doing is air streaming the Whimsicott. And switching to Torkoal, right? Which that sets me up really nicely for Body Press, Burning Jealousy, or, or Burning Jealousy plus Airstream, right? Because all I need to do is get Speed Control and I win this game, right? This should definitely be winnable. I just played really, really, really extraordinarily badly. They're also not bringing Incineroar, right? They're probably bringing the same Pokemon again, which is Dracovish lead, right? Could I just lead Zacian here? How much does Zacian take from Dracovish? No, I shouldn't. I should because that would that would require me to leave Thunderous. But yeah, getting rid of the Whimsicott, so I only have to get through the first turn of Tailwind because none of their max moves like give them speed control except for a strike. 
Let's go up to Spectre as the lead, okay. Into Insane plus Dundee. Um, it's a little spooky, not gonna lie. But does Thunderous Max Darkness one shot? It does not. But that's okay, right? Actually, I don't need Torkoal for anything. I can Airstream here and switch the Torkoal and sack Torkoal and get turn two if they got pressure. Because Torkoal isn't necessary, isn't as necessary as Incineroar, right? Okay. This is tricky for sure, but it should still be okay. Because they just Helping Hand, Max Quake into Instant Slot this turn. Oh, they get a special attack boost from that, which is actually quite bad. Uh, yeah, because Helping Hand is actually really bad for me, right? Yeah, I might have made a mistake here. Yeah, Helping Hand, Max Quake coming out. Unless they want to go for Max Phantasm and just give me the game for free, that'd be nice, but it's got Quake, right? Yeah. That was the issue of Torkoal. I shouldn't have brought Torkoal here. Although, yeah, I mean, I guess Stone Drinner. Stone Drinner here puts me in a really nice spot. But yeah, the issue is that Chilling or Grimnay activates now. Their Life Orb, right? It's, uh, Grimnay. That comes out. Crit doesn't help me here. Um. Just about half. Huh. Um, I think I go instant always. Because I'm probably losing at this point, right? I need to start making some good plays. So I either attack the Spectre or not expect, like, expecting them not to protect. Wait, what am I doing? I, ah, I had fake out Airstream for guaranteed kill, and then I win from there. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay. Um. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, we're still in this, we're still in this. Oh man, they, yeah, I didn't use fake out all set. Okay, wait, this we're still alive. This is the run is live, uh, alive. But I'm still in trouble because I lost fake out this turn. I lost intimidate this turn as well. Okay, but we're, okay, we get rid of what was caught, which means we have speed advantage for now. I need to use my last attack to airstream as well. Quake again. Okay, we're trading mons. This oh, if I fake out airstream turn one, I would have just been in the same position but better. It's the end of instant. Yeah, I, I live non helping hand life orb or helping hand with non life orb, but not both. You can't live both. Um, okay, this is getting real scary, but it's fine, I guess. Um, the question is who comes in now, right? That's like the number, that's the question of the hour. But I, ha I have one turn left to Airstream by Zacian, right? So they're probably going to Zacian as well, yeah. Um, what's the worst thing that happens here? The worst thing that happens here is they protect, right? Although, actually, how bad is it if they protect? We know we're at least speed tied, right? We know we're speed tied. I have two Pokemon that outspeed and Chaos Spectre, right? So if I Airstream to Spectre, the worst thing that happens is Max Guard, correct? Like, I want to Airstream Behemoth Blade here, even though I know it's very likely that Zacian protects. So what does that set me up for next turn? That sets me up for a Behemoth Blade and Wild Charge as they switch. And then it's a 50-50, right? So do I just go completely YOLO mode? I don't know if this is correct. They could also just instant this turn, but it's fine. The issue is I just want to avoid 50-50s. Okay, I'm very glad I didn't overpredict here. Um, the issue is this isn't a guaranteed KO. Okay, it's a KO. I'm now faster. This actually might be really bad though for me, right? It depends on who they target down. Maybe sub was better. Sub was probably better here, although I don't think I could risk it because I thought maybe there's a chance one of them protected. Oh man, all right, I need to crit here. Give me a thick crit. I'm guaranteed faster now, which is great, but I don't have predict on Thunderous, which is quite bad. Didn't crit, okay. Who are they targeting? Probably, probably, I actually don't know who they're targeting here, but whoever it is is taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. It's Thundee, okay. That means probably their last Pokemon's Incineroar. There's two turns of Sun left, right? What's the item on the Incineroar? Shuka Berry, okay, that's good, okay. So it's plus one Incin. The issue is now it's a 50-50, it's a right? Actually, is it a 50-50? Does Sigurdard might two-shot here, right? I don't know if this is a 50-50. I think that I have a relatively good move and that I double the Incin here. Because that covers for Protect and that also covers for... Because I'm plus one Zacian speed, and I don't need chip damage on my Zacian either. Like, if they double, let's say they double Zacian. If they double Zacian, I would survive, right? So if they double Thunderous with Fake Out plus Attack, then I would have Sacred Sword into Sacred Sword for the win, right? Assuming that Sacred Sword two shots, which it really should, because I don't have a berry. So I'm just going to double the Incineroar here, I think. Fake Out, they just went for the, okay. Oh, they crit me? Oh, God. Okay. Okay, it's an easy two shot. Okay, what are they doing with this Mon, though? Behemoth Blade into Hoomst. What if they're adamant? If they're adamant, could they kill me? I don't think they kill me here. Thundee. Oh, they went for that. Okay. Okay. 
Sun ends. Now I have plus one speedization versus plus one attackization. Incineroar's moves are Flare Blitz, Taunt, Fake Out, Darkest Lariat. It's a really risky player for them. I think they only win on crit. I just always Sacred Sword here, right? It's either that or Protect. There's no harm in Protecting, right? There's no benefit either. Like, if they're gonna Protect... Okay, let's go. It wasn't a 50-50, because they never killed me, so I just, I just did this. Okay. I was way closer than I should have been, but they adapted really well. This is why you. This is why game two is so important, because like they figured out what they had to do for game three, but they didn't figure it out for game two. So if I played well, I would have won game two. Um, but that, that's my bad. That was way, way more difficult. Like my matchup was very. That matchup was very uh, heavily in my favor. All right, five zero with Stone Journer. Five zero with Stone Journer. Not bad at all. We'll take it. We will absolutely take it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we somehow made it through Players' Cup Day 1 with Stone Journer. We lost two games total. N yeah, we lost one round five and four and five. We at least dropped a game there. I think that's all I have to say. I don't really need to drag us out. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I guess we'll be back next Saturday with more of more of players cup because we, we advanced in the winner side of the bracket so um oh wait no I'll, next week i probably won't be able to stream because they'll want to broadcast it so um yeah anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed i'm gonna